What's up guys, it's me Jamar Dawson, Remnant Outdoors. Hope you're doing great today. And I'm with the Watt Fun 500. I believe I found one of the best generators for camping, for short term emergencies, things like that. This is it right here. This is what I believe is the best bang for your buck if you compare this to the big boys like Gold Zero, Jackery, some of these other high dollar premium generators. This stacks up and does more than compete with those competitors. Let's dig straight into it. So this is a portable system, guys. I believe this is one of the best for several reasons. Uh, I wanna go ahead and start with the battery type. Why? Because the battery type is the reason why I bought this one over some of the other competitors that I was fiercely looking at. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. It's kind of a new thing. The reason why that chemical composition is so good is because it could be recharged like over a thousand times. So if you have a mostly depleted battery and you charge it back up to 100%, you're gonna be able to get back to that 100% level about a thousand times before it starts to degrade. And as you guys may or may not know, once you kind of drop off from the max number of charges, you're gonna be able to still recharge your battery, but it may only go to 80%. So you're gonna get a decent amount of life out of it. But compared to some of the more expensive units, there's some that are in the 500 watt hour class, like this one, that are double the price, and they only either use like a lithium ion battery, some of them use a lead acid battery, and you don't get as many recharges. You get recharges in the hundreds versus a thousand plus. So that's why I went with this battery. This type of a battery is more exotic, more expensive, and as more of these types of batteries get made, the price will go down. But a lot of these other companies are charging you a premium for a cheaper battery. I don't like that. I want something that 10 years from now, I could still be able to plug in, get a good charge, because it is a lithium ion phosphate. All right, moving on to the types of input. When you buy this device, you get a really nice little bag here, as you can see, as I'm modeling, doing my best Vanna White here. But in addition to this device, you're gonna get all sorts of cables. Let's talk about the inputs here. So number one, the most prominent form of input in charging this, uh, which a lot of people are gonna use in, in between times, is going to be through the wall charger. So this comes with a 12 to 40 uh, VDC charger. You just plug this into the back of the unit, you plug that into your wall, and you are good to go. So that's where this goes right here. In addition to that, it also comes with a charging cable for solar, a standard solar powered charging. And that goes into the same port right there. It doesn't stop there. It has a third way to charge this device. It also comes with cigarette lighter charger. So you plug this into your vehicle cigarette lighter. You plug this right here and then boom, you are good to go. Now that's the least recommended way of charging. If you charge this uh, via your vehicle, you're going to get a much slower charge. So they don't really recommend it. Some people have done some tests and analysis on it. And so yeah, this is gonna be your last ditch effort using your cigarette lighter charger, but it does work. It plugs right back into here and it does a fairly good job. One thing that I do wanna say before we move on in terms of input, man, I plug this to the back of the device, right? Uh, and it shows you on the front how many watts you are charging it. That's beautiful and that's brilliant. I hooked up my HQST solar panel to it separately and plugged that into the back and I was getting darn near the exact same amount of wattage charging. So that is amazing. I mean, that's kind of is a testament to HQST, but uh, the battery management system is amazing here. Uh, it gives you just so much flexibility. That is the key here, flexibility for input on this device. All right, like input, there are multiple outputs for the Watt Fun 500. Let's go ahead and start with DC. So the first thing here, you'll notice this big old circle or spot here, that is for a cigarette charger. Let's just say you have like a cigarette lighter charger in your vehicle that charges your phone, has USB outs or whatever it may be. Plug that right there, boom, you're good to go with the 12 volt uh, DC out. In addition to that, it has multiple 12 volt, three amp charging outs. So you have two here, 
you have a PD45W or a Type C out, so that's a USB C style, and then you also have four standard USB 5 volt by 3 amp, and that's relatively modern with the 3 amp output. So you got several options right here for your DC outs. And for AC out, very similar to an inverter, uh, this has what they call the pure sine wave. Uh, it's a really good management system. This is 100 to 120 volts, 300 watt. The peak is about 450 watts. And so you just plug in your devices as long as they're under that 300 watt threshold and hopefully under your 450 peak watts threshold, then you're gonna be able to pull a charge from the AC ports here. So multiple options, let us not forget for those who have wireless charging capability for their cell phones. On the top of this device, it has a output of 10 watts wirelessly charging and this thing works beautifully. It actually shows up as fast charging. So it fast charges through this device as well. And yes, you can be charging your devices through the output while at the same time through the input be charging the device. I think it's amazing. This thing has all the features and more that some of the big boys do. So the weight is fairly hefty at 13 and a half pounds. It does have these charging handles here. It makes carrying much, much easier. Uh, but overall guys, I mean 13 and a half pounds really isn't that bad. Some people are like, oh the bulk, the bulk. This is less heavy than a car battery. Right, I, my car battery is a couple times heavier than this thing. But yeah, overall, it's a portable charger. Uh, but once you get it into the place where you're gonna have it, you're probably gonna leave it there for a little while on a table or whatever. It's not big enough to where you know, you're worried that the table's gonna fall. Um, but it's just the right weight that you would assume for something like this. So it's a good weight, 13 and a half pounds. Also another feature that this has that not all power generators that are portable have, and that is a lighting system. So let's just say you're in an emergency situation, you don't have a light bulb or something to plug into here, and you just want to get some light, you just press this button here, boom. Now, it's not gonna show up very well. I have lights kinda coming at me from different angles, uh, but it has a bright mode, a half bright, and as you're seeing now, the SOS flash. So options on top of options on top of options. I love this thing. Uh, you have a great display on here, it shows you all the information that you're going to need. It shows you 20%, uh, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100% charge. When you are charging and you're below 100, it kind of goes through the little paces uh, of the little cells of how many bars it's charging and how much is left, how much is filled, how much is, remains to be charged. It has your input wattage. It has DC wattage and it has AC wattage. One of the things I really like about this device is that you can have a bunch of things plugged in here. Uh, it, it, this actually, the screen goes to sleep after a little period of time to help conserve energy. Lastly, let's just talk about some miscellaneous things. It has some uh, kind of pass-through capability as we touched on a little bit earlier, so you could charge multiple devices. It has integrated battery management power system. It has things to prevent uh, overcharging. It has an integrated fan, and once you hit a certain wattage level for charging, uh, or discharging the fan comes on to try to prevent from over temperature it has so many premium features guys that you're gonna want in your portable battery or portable generator so I give this high high marks I hope you enjoyed the video guys I tried to really put it through its paces I've owned this for like two months so I didn't want to do a video right when I got it I was really eager and I wanted to but I really held off and so let's put it through its paces. Uh, it holds a charge really well. Uh, I went through a period where I didn't touch it for like 20 or 30 days and it still was right at 100%. So guys, that's about all that I got for you. This is an amazing device. It is one of my favorite new outdoorsy uh, toys, if you will. I bought this for my family for emergencies. I didn't just buy it for YouTube, I bought this for emergencies, hurricane season's coming up soon. I highly recommend you consider the Watt Phone 500. If you got any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, there's gonna be more details in the description of this video. God bless, stay safe, we'll talk soon, peace.